I heard this avalanche is tearing Midgard to pieces. What does the world come to? Forget about that. I've been hearing the most disturbing noises from the mansion next door at night. I wonder if it's haunted. Goodness! I'd certainly be much more concerned about that. The mansion? You live next to a mansion? There are mansions in this town? Need something for the kids? How about a handmade wooden doll? All natural, made from. Well, I'm a little bit sensitive to words like that because in Japanese, mansion means apartment. So I'm kind of wondering if she might be talking about an apartment or is it an actual, like, like a huge, luxurious house kind of mansion. So only in calm, the perfect suit. Okay, I think we've roughly looked at everything. We could definitely just try to go to the clock tower here. Sure. I didn't even notice there was a clock tower here. Is it this one? Cloud! Over here! It's pretty. Let's get started then, shall we? <laughs> this town feels very tourist-like. Like it's not actually lived in, it's too picturesque. Beautiful clock tower. Amazing surroundings. Aerith, wait up! I'm carrying a gigantic sword. Hold up. I think Midgar's this away. Should be, yeah. It's pretty. Suddenly, everybody on the floor has left. <laughs> it's like they know. Mm, the reactors. Funny, isn't it? How small it looks. It is far away. So, did something happen between you and Tifa? Ah. <sighs> hmm? Don't look so shocked. We're roommates, you know. She say something? Not about you two, no. Still, I can tell. I would have given anything to have a friend when I was growing up. Don't take her for granted. <sighs> we all... tend, um... Just take things around us for granted. Maybe something like this is a good thing. Keeps us in check about what things are really important. Anyway, we're being attacked now or something. Just for me. Is it Shinra? Would the Shinra have jurisdiction over Calm? You know the drill! Let's find these terrorists! <laughs> You're not gonna fight in the middle of town, are you? Shinra, Shinra is a company, but it's so powerful, it's almost like a government in terms of how much power it has. They're looking for us, aren't they? Gotta be. And this town, we know it's powered by Mako, so they probably have some say around here, unfortunately. But is the, the local calm mayor gonna say anything about this? Oh! Sweet. We don't want to destroy the place. Just what do you think you're at <laughs> They don't really respect us though, huh? Just sending troopers? That's it? Ah, uh, there you are. There isn't much time. We need to get back to the inn. But... Don't worry about your friends. They're safe. Trust me. There's something more to this guy. No violence. Please. This town suffered enough. Did he work for Shinra or not? Come on.
Follow me. Well, he's really going to bat for us, though, giving us that whole second floor, and now he's trying to save us personally. Not here. Well, we know we'll take the back town. Road. Hey, you seen anyone acting suspicious? No, I haven't <laughs> seen anyone carrying a gigantic sword. I heard about the reactor bombings in Midgar. That was you, wasn't it? No. No. It's okay, I'm on your side. Got a contact at HQ. You're with Avalanche? Not exactly. Are you with Wutai? Stop. I'll keep the troopers occupied. While we're talking, you two go up and over. This guy's so lanky. He looks like a clamp character. You know the the people who made Car Captor Sakura. May I ask what's going on? We're searching for some fugitives. Have you seen anyone suspicious? Now that you mention it, I think I might have. Though perhaps it was just my imagination. Or was it? Well, for the love of get out of here! Wait, wait. I know I saw some people who had a fugitive air about them. <laughs> if only I could remember their faces. Annoy someone else and stop wasting our time. There ain't anybody in town as handsome as me. Certainly not anybody with as gigantic of a sword. News travels fast though, huh? They're, they're already on. Hey, wh what's the timeline? How long has it been since we left Midgar? Not that long. It's a Shinra right there. Okay, okay, yeah, we, that's a pretty good answer to does Shinra have any jurisdiction over Calm? They turn up yet? No, but we're still searching buildings. We'll search harder. We gotta find them. I mean, we've waited four years, but how long has it been for Cloud and Company? Like four days? Something like that. Thanks, man. You tire what? That went well. The inn's not much further, but stay on your toes. Maybe there's some secret compartments at the inn, because they're gonna check the inn anyway. We gotta be careful. Thank you. Down below, waiting for you. The tunnel in the basement will take you outside of town. Leave now, and they won't catch you. <sighs> Head to the east. A friend of mine runs a farm out there. He'd be happy to help you. Also, take this. It's a transmuter converts raw materials into more practical items. A Republic antique, but it still works. Republic of what? You'll get more use out of it than me. Republic of what? Manifestations of the planet's blessings. Why are you doing this? Could have just turned us in. <laughs> yeah, I could have. But this town and I have a history with Shinra. Who knows? Maybe this will turn out to be the worst decision I've ever made. So before I change my mind, you better get going. Yeah, he mentioned he had a... He used to work for a company. Must have been Shinra then, so maybe not Wutai. Transmuting items. Is this really the best time to be telling me about this? <laughs> From the item transmuter screen in the main menu, you can convert raw materials into practical items, such as consumables, equipment, accessories, and more. To expand your options, collect chips found throughout the world, or improve your craftsmanship. We can now make potions, antidotes, and vials of smelling salts. Now? Really? Really? Now? Not even later when we're safe? Okay. Transmuting items. You can now transmute. Let's make a potion. The currently transmutable items are listed here. 
Yes. We need stuff to make items. Makes sense? Transmuting an item for the first time grants EXP, which increases your craftsmanship. So make new stuff when you can. Transmute a potion. We have 10 Sage, 3 Planets Blessing because he just gave it to me. Now we made one. 10 XP. Through transmutation, you can keep your supplies topped up without needing to buy items from vendors. Materials can be found throughout the world, in chests, through combat. Some items can only be obtained via transmutation. Okay, maybe you should go now. Are, are you alright? You... This goes without saying, but you'll have to lie low for a while. I'll let my friend at the farm know you're coming. It's all good. <laughs> whoa, whoa, whoa. Is he dying? You have blood on your hands or anything like that? Best of luck to you. Oh yeah, maybe we should go. Thanks, man. I don't know why you're helping us. But when you live in a place like this, even if you're not part of Avalanche, I think a lot of people secretly have beef with Shinra, and they're just waiting for the right moment to help the right person. Oh, you made it! All in one piece? Sorry, we're late! For the love of... Where the hell have you two been? Sightseeing? On a date. Kind of. What? Uh... Well, that was the last one. At least till things calm down. <laughs> Got that? Think about your love triangle later. Now, let's move. I do want to talk about this love triangle thing a little bit, but maybe once we're safer. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like Aerith does little things to make Tifa a little bit jealous on purpose, but not in a... The vibes I get, it's not really in a I'm trying to steal Cloud from you kind of way. But Tifa and Cloud are both kind of... Um... Where to now? Where there's a draft. This way. Looks like a job for me. Like, they don't really like to take their first move in relationships, so someone like Aerith can be a little bit of a catalyst for new developments. It's good. Oh, guys, why'd you just miss out on the chest? Do I really have to do everything around here? Laurel. God, our, our sword is so... It's too damn big. It's just here. All they have to say is, it's like on the news broadcast. Hey, look for the dude with the buster sword. And they got me. Man, I thought we were going to be in calm for a little longer, but good thing I looked around already, I guess. Farm. We're leaving already. <coughs> ah, we're vampires. Back on the road. Grasslands. Just look at it all. It's so green. <laughs> That's certainly a comment. Nature. A living, breathing planet. Even after everything we've done to it, it's still going strong. It may look that way, but in reality, it's barely hanging on. I guess I still have a lot to learn. What do you want to know? Hmm... For starters... How do we cross these plains? Walk. Come on now, that's easy. The same way you get anywhere. Pick a direction and start walking. Yeah. Left, your left, your left, right. What? <sighs> I guess we won't be coming back anytime soon. 
guess not. Well, they weren't gonna let us leave through the front door. Let's go. They were all like, oh, it's too dangerous. <laughs> and there it was, the first step on our new journey. You coming? Yeah. Of course we are. Right? <laughs> Follow me. Oh, you're leading us. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's get this show on the road, people. Red 13. I don't think we've had any detail about it so far, but is Red 13 a human trapped inside a dog body? Or is he actually just a dog? who has somehow gained sentience from being experimented on. I lean towards the former, although I don't know if we have really hard evidence for that. Choosing your party! Adjust your battle party from the combat settings. We can have three people, or three presets, to swap between. How many people can be in our party, though? Three plus Cloud? There's story markers. Oh no, this is gonna be a- oh, this is gonna be a- <laughs> a open world thing. We should go to the farm that Rodin talked about first. Apparently. Which is all the way over here. Okay, well, what? wait. It's not this entire gray area, right? The grasslands. It's not, right? Right? Why are you not saying anything? Well, okay, all right. <laughs> that actually seems really far. We'll see. We'll see. Yeah, let me just chill walk. I assume we'll come across some people. We need to practice our combat and all that and get proficiency on the Buster Sword so I can switch it out and stop looking so conspicuous. Oh yeah, there's some people right there. Terrain action. Hold up. Yeah, I can just sprint. Hey. Or we have Red 13 and Aerith. Oh, we only have three people in the party! Three! Damn! That's not that many at all. I, got you I guess now. I'll switch out every now and then. Orc! Beastmen with short tempers that live in grassy areas. They possess primitive weapons, often attacking fellow orcs with them as a form of communication or play. Exploiting their elemental weakness. Fire. Will work. Go on. Huh. Let's do it. Wait, Cloud has a status effect. Is that some intimidation thing? Calling fire. Invoking summons. When in the throes of battle, the entity slumbering within an equipped summoning materia may begin to stir, prompting the summon gauge to appear. If it's full, we can summon. One more shot. Glad that's over. Mandragora. Mar Marjoram. This is such a stark contrast with um, industrialization in Midgar. But the pipes, the pipes remind you that, you know, it, yeah, it's not, it's not that it's not here. We just don't see it. We can see Mako just floating around the air too. That's nice. Transmutation materials, just randomly on the ground. If you're ever in need of a specific material, take note of its symbol, as it might point you in the right direction. The little gray twig means out in the world. Bone means dropped by enemies. Golden twig means hard to come by. Okay. I'll just chill. For my parties, my party preset stuff. Party. Card decks, my god, okay. Does Cloud have to be in a party? Probably, I'm guessing. So how do I switch? How do I do anything about my party? Where does that happen? Combat settings? Oh no, this is more stuff like- Oh, edit party. Edit party. So right now, party 1 is Cloud, Aerith, Red 13. Okay. And then second one is Barret and Red 13. And then third one is Aerith and Tifa. Are there anything... Like, do people talk more often if they're part of the party? I'm guessing not, because what happens is 
If we're not in combat, everyone's still standing around here. Okay, that's good. We'll see. I'll switch every now and then. My preference would probably always be, hey, some love triangle stuff going on, but it's good to have some other people here too, some levity, so it's not just tension <laughs> all the time. Although, I, I have to say again, like when I, before I first started playing FF7R Remake, I thought Aerith and Tifa were going to be a lot more catty, but it's really nice to see that they're... They do well as their own thing too, it's not just um... Not everything is just about their relation to Cloud. Cash locations! You may find useful supplies hidden among abandoned facilities and settlements. Open them to mark it as complete. FF7 Remake didn't really have much in the way of side quests, they were all pretty... Railroaded, but it already looks like that's not going to be the case here. Yes, 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 cash locations, what? Here? Here. Just random chests out in the field. Is Wait, is there two in this location? Is that what you're trying to tell me? It says one of two at the top corner. <laughs> Moogle metal. Moogle metal. Wait, where is the other one? Is it around here? Supposedly. Hey! Chest? If I were a chest, I would... I would be more visible. Am I missing it? Somewhere really obvious? It's gotta be... Well, it's, it has to be around the water wheel somewhere. There's somewhere around here. Those Moogle medals will probably come in handy once we meet the, the people who exchange stuff for Moogle medals. What's all this? Can we climb up more? It's pretty. Oh, there's some turbines over there. Wonder what that's about. Oh wow, the, uh, the gray area really is all open world. Seriously? That seems a little bit extreme. Open world is not always a good thing, so I, I don't know how to feel about that right now. <laughs> Yo, where is that damn other... Oh man, I jumped all the way down. Wait. Oh, you can climb up all the way here. Oh. Oh, there it is! Oh, we really have to be running the whole time because... Yeah, the way the terrain traversal works here... Oh, this is a different place. It's a little bit unpredictable which places we can go to and not. Because normally, like, I wouldn't expect to be able to jump up. Especially because we're not actually pressing a jump button. All we're doing is going close to it and running. And then it does some automatically jumping thing. Okay, that's- this is cool, but this is not the cash I was looking for. <laughs> I think I still didn't get the other one. Mmm, but you know what? This kind of thing, I really don't think I'm gonna- uh, If I try to spend time on this thing, this- <laughs> We're gonna be here all day long. And this is just the first two caches, so I don't- I'll do it here, but yeah. Especially because the rewards don't seem like they're too crazy, I don't think. But it's really bothering me. Why? Why I can't find the other one? <laughs> Where is it? Oh, here it is. It was just right here. That's it. I'll just follow what they say. They say let's go to the farm. We'll meet up with Rodin's people. Oh God, you're gonna die, Cloud. Hey, we already went through this in the. <laughs> Back in Nibelheim, you want to fall into a, a flowing river again? Not a good idea. Let's try to get to the farm. Thank you, thank you. No pickup animation, thank you. We don't need any of that around here. Oh, okay, we we're actually a little bit... Oh! We should have been going the way of that... That viaduct thing. That was the right way. Yeah. 
honestly, I'm not really a fan. A lot of... A lot? I feel like a lot of the Final Fantasy games I've played so far, or maybe just even JRPGs in general too, they... The, the type of movement is not as free as something like... Mm, let's say The Witcher. You know, the, it'll give you a little button there, be like, hey, you can climb down from here. It's not... Whereas something else, you might just be able to jump down from elsewhere. But here, yeah, even jumping is like a... It's like a... A thing that you have to... Well, you can't. You can't do it, right? Seriously. So, honestly, it does feel a little bit less free. But maybe the good thing about that is that... You won't end up in places that you're not supposed to be at. That's it. Allow me. Beastman with short tempers. No, no, not the orc. Not the orc. Grassland's wolf. Feral beasts that stalk the plains outside of Midgar. They live and hunt in packs, preying not only on wild animals, but occasionally livestock and people too. Exploiting their elemental weakness, blocking their spin swipe attack, or evading them when they attempt to pin you will pressure them. They're weak towards ice. Going in. It's on you. Fighting is Barret. Barret is ranged. So he can strike enemies that Cloud can't reach. Holding square releases a sustained burst of automatic fire. Overcharge fills his ATB gauge. Pressing triangle after using an ability or standard attack will greatly fill the overcharge gauge. Need my help, do you? I might need a little bit of time again. I feel like I remember seeing all these words, but the intricacies of a system like this. Maximum fury. Focus shot. Consumes all ATB. Damn. Ah, oh, charging. That's why they say triangle. Triangle charges the thing because in a triangle is charging. Don't stop now. Yeah, Barrett's ATB comes back really fast. I see. Let's try to get to the farm. Well, there's some runes around here. Older civilizations? Do we know too much about the history of this planet aside from ancients died here 2,000 years ago? Can I assume these are ancient related buildings? A literally ancient civilizations? I don't know. There could have been other people here. Uh, should we be worried about those things? We're fine. Which? How can you be so sure? Because I've read the field guide. Like any good soldier. Local wildlife will only attack while on the hunt or in defense of their territory. Fiends, on the other hand, attack without reason. If they're attacking, what does it matter? It matters if your nose can discern their intent before they attack. As I gather, yours can't. Can yours? You good at being a dog? I'm sorry, that's probably rude. <laughs> Have you read the soldier field guide, Red? Maybe Red is a soldier, huh? Hello! Oliver! Farm people! Greetings! Was with my bird since he was hatched, and now he's gone. I know I gotta get it together and move on, but knowing it and doing it are... What, what happened to your bird? What happened to your bird? It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. You talking about some farm animals? Probably. Oh, here's the vending machine. Energy drink, potion, it says. What's that new machine next to it? So, vending machine. Oh, I didn't get to buy that sword from the guy earlier. And now we're not gonna be able to go back? That might be. That's a little bit sad. Buying sale items. Vending machines offer a variety of useful items that will aid you. They will also sometimes offer limited quantities of certain items at special prices. Oh, that would make me really sad. Damn. But maybe we can buy it again later on. Hopefully. Or maybe we can go back to calm later on once things get a little calmer. Ha 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 ha. Wait, wait, wait. So the two, the two is saying the cushion. The cushion is... Allows you to use broken down rest stops. Do I not already have one? I own five already. 
Oh, these are consumable then. No, I'm good. Thanks. It's important to make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump. So Folios. There's folio stuff. Okay. Hi. You be the avalanche, folks. It's okay. I'm on your side. Heard you be heading my way. You're safe here, but not for long. By the sound of it, Shinra's leaving no stone unturned. Might want to hole up at the old dock out by the swamp. I'd wager Shinra's forgotten it's even there. But it's next to a swamp. Wish there was some more I could do, but I ain't got the space to put y'all up. Swamp's your best bet for now. That guy just directed me to go to a swamp? Seeing more fiends out and about every day. Watch sales here. Wish there was some more I could so do. So who are you people? I got the space You're just anti-Shinra people for all I know. To make sure they've got plenty to eat. Need to be nice and plump so they fetch a high price. Hi children. Let's get a family here. That's it. The abandoned dock is Oh my god, why is it so far? Okay. I'm undecided on whether like do I really have to go out to the little edges? and fill out the whole place or how seriously should I be taking this open world? We'll see. I mean my main focus is really gonna be if there's side quests I'll um flashbacks to Final Fantasy 16. <laughs> uh we'll, we'll check out some of the quality of this stuff first. I have a better feeling about Rebirth than FF16 though. <laughs> Hello? Exploding enemies weaknesses. Eld Alpha Dunk. Oh, you're my card, one of my cards. I've been assessing already. No problem. I've been good. I've been good about assessing. Best do it right. Docile herbivores that roam grassy areas. While not easily angered, they will nevertheless fly into an uncontrollable rampage if sufficiently provoked. Elemental weaknesses? While their guard is up, landing powerful offensive abilities from behind will pressure them, but also cause them to see red. Oh, it's like a... it's just like a bowl. Keep it together. Red! Can definitely take down enemies with his razor sharp claws and fangs. Yes, square to swipe, or hold it down to unleash a whirling slash. Successfully guarding against attacks fills a vengeance gauge, which can be consumed to enter vengeance mode. Increasing red's attack power and dodge speed. You can activate it at any time, but it'll last longer according to how full the gauge is. So red is someone we don't we never got to play back in remake. This is all completely new. Synergy? Utilizing ATB commands with the uh, the little things will grant character synergy. When two characters share enough synergy, you can activate their abilities. They can apply special effects and tremendous damage. Special effects including stuff like unlimited MP. I think we saw a Sephiroth and Cloud One do that. Note that the repeated use of a synergy ability will increase the amount of synergy required to activate it. Oh! You would think it would be less because we're getting more synergized, but nope. Sentinel Stance. So this is for counter-striking. Leap into the air. We gotta go from the back. I'll make it quick. Finish it, gotcha. Go from the back. Going in. Take the lead. About damn time. Hurry up! So this Barrett is good for building stagger too, probably. There you go. See how the strong survive. It's gonna be a lot we have to get a hang of. Wait, we have Barrett and Red right now, not Aerith. I said Aerith earlier when we were looking at the party screen. Okay, there's a gigantic river. I'm mainly worried about whether we can find new quests just by walking over to things. Or should I be... Yeah, like right now we're supposed to go to the swamp, so I'll go to the swamp. Chocobo stops. 
While many chocobo stops built in the days of the Republic have fallen into this repair, their benches are mostly intact. If you use a cushion, you can rest. Am I using a cushion here? No. Yes, yeah, someone graffitied over the loveless. Good. <laughs> the Republic. Is that what the state of things were before the Wutai and Shinra war? But Shinra's a cut. Wait, 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 wait. Wutai is a it's a nation. Shinra's a company. If that gives you any sense of the sort of scale of things we're talking about here in terms of how powerful Shinra is. Not even a nation, but people treat it like one. Because it wasn't a Wutai Midgar war, right? It, it was a Wutai Shinra war, is my understanding. Yeah, there's, there's a lot going on here, my goodness. Oh. Alpha Dunks. Lots of runes. Nobody rebuilding. Why? Why is nobody rebuilding? So as far as I can tell, if we see those golden material icons, we should drop everything and try to get it because it's apparently rare. Haven't seen a single one just yet. This building's here. Hmm. Seems like there was some... There was a lot of stuff going on here. But these buildings... The vibe I get from them talking about the ancients is that the place... You know, they're stewards of the planet and they're all very natural and all about nature and stuff. But these con... I mean, these buildings are made of concrete. And they have steel frames. So it's not quite... It's probably not ancient stuff, but it's just some other stuff from some other random time. <laughs> Right. Manifestation of the planet's blessing, whatever that means. Oh, why is it so dark here? Oh! Rare to find resource. What is it? Ether onion. Abandoned dock. In the swamps. Hi. Well, it's abandoned. Nobody's here. Makes sense. Do we have a goal, though? We're just trying to escape Shinra right now. We want to row somewhere? No sign of Shinra. Yeah. Looks like an old Republic landing. Could borrow a boat, make our way across. Then, head on through the mines and keep going till we hit Junon. Sure. Why not? You'd trust these rotting hulks? I mean, we could. Let's not. Then maybe we swim it. This swamp is home to the deadly Midgard Swarmer. Beware. But even if you're slow, you can rent a chocobo. We'll see you safely past being nothing if not fast. So just give Bill the word and he'll pick you out. A bird! <laughs> Chocobos can swim? Well, can we rent some birds? Can we? Sure, as long as I'm not paying. Fine. <laughs> Chocobo Ranch. Wow, what a treat. It's actually translated in English. <laughs> Midgard Sommer. Some gigantic snake. Chocobo Ranch. Well, the weather suddenly got kind of poopy. Rare supplies. Mellow oak? Oh! Rare supplies? All in a row? Who is that? Bring it. Moo! I don't know what a moo is. 
I got your number. Herbivorous creatures that prefer grassy areas, digging networks of tunnels that occasionally reveal springs of water. Their tails are too large to be concealed, always poking out of holes this creature digs. Just hit them with powerful attacks. Make them flinch. Drive them out of the burrows. Let's move. Those are orcs. Okay. Maybe I should be focusing on learning one person first, and then I'll move on to the next person. Nah, let's uh, we'll switch from time to time. Still easy enough right now that button mashing works perfectly fine. No synergy for a cloud. That'll do. Nothing to it. Okay, and then the choco. Wow. That's taking me someplace else completely different. Bit of a wild goose chase here. That's fine. Oh, but once we get the chocobo, we can probably cover distances much easier. Yeah, let's make that a priority. Another stop? Well, <laughs> the bench is broken. Oh, hello! I really must be going, thanks. <laughs> Thank you for letting me go. Oh! Oh, this is where the, the turbines were. Yeah? That's it. Try this. Yes, get some Let's nice staggering. This. Proficiency bonus gain. How do I see the proficiency thing we need? That's Let's that. not get ahead of ourselves. Yeah, each of these the buster swords, we had some proficiency thing. Buster sword. Proficiency bonus is stagger an enemy. Okay. So we just have to stagger enemies, and now we we can switch out if we find a better sword. Okay. Sounds Good. Am I still going the right way? I really hope we didn't miss that sword earlier. The one back in calm. More orcs. Eh. Yeah. Get a little practicing. So I'm the leader right now. But in the future, I can see something like, hey, maybe Aerith would want to be the party leader if we want to maybe have her apply some status effects that help us out before we even begin. Thunder. Maximum fury. Damn. Nice. Fantastic. Chocobos? Who's paying? It ain't me. <laughs> so, it's okay, we'll figure it out. People will see how handsome I am and how beautiful Aerith and Tifa are. Well, well. If it ain't my favorite group of hitchhikers. Oh, fancy meeting you here. Thanks again for the ride to Calm. Oh. Ah, uh, don't mention it. It's the least I could do for two such lovely young ladies. But I do believe I neglected to introduce myself. The name's Bill, and you can count on me for a lift anytime. Anywho, what can I do you for? You in the market for some fine feathered friends by any chance? Are we ever? Need them to get through the swamp lands. Then you have come to the right place. Back in the day, we had Republic ferries to get us from A to B, but now they're nothing but driftwood, sadly. We got the next best thing, though. Chocobos. To them, a bottomless bog's no worse than a kiddie pool. Now, ladies, you're probably wondering, what gives these birds the power to glide across swamps with ease? Uh... Would you believe that their fluffy feathers give them the buoyancy to float, while their limber legs can outrun a motorboat? On water? Not even the dreaded Midgard Sormer, one of the fastest fiends around, can keep up with them. Oh, wow. <laughs> but you don't need convincing. You just need pointing. 
to a hard-working chocobo, nature's two-legged limousine. So can we rent some? Sure can. My grandson Billy's in the stable over yonder. He'll help you out. What's your son's name? If you're Bill and he's Billy, what's your son's name? <laughs> hmm? There's something I can help you with? Yes, please tell me all of your dialogue. I want to know about Midgard Summer. Uh, that'd be the serpent that lives in the swamp. Longer than a river, quieter than a whisper, and quicker than a lightning bolt. Cause the water to so much as ripple, it'll come barreling after you, gaping maw and all. Ooh, gives me chills just thinking about it. Lucky for you, most chocobos can outrun the devil. Though I'm sure you already knew that. Any man of the road would have heard the tales. And judging by that sword, you've been the subject of a few yourself. Of course you have. If there's one thing I know besides chocobos, it's how to spot a seasoned frontiersman. A chocobo would be nice. You might could talk to Billy over in the stables. He'll be happy to tell you all you need to know. Okay, thanks. How come it's not voiced? Oh, here's some stops. That's good, we're a little bit hurt. Not supremely, but... You still have the same stuff on sale? Cushions? I don't really see myself using that stuff right now. Oh, we have to be using the materia to level it up, right? Steel materia! Let's buy this. Yeah. I think we probably need that. Chakra materia... Does... Oh yeah, this stuff. They show me my party members' stats. I'm trying to read this right now. Is this better than what I have completely? Probably, but I... If we come across a weapon again, I, I would really like enough money to be able to buy it. So I'm a little bit hesitant to just start buying stuff like that. But to begin with, maybe we could give... Let's see... Barret, you got some space? Sort of? What's that last one there? Oh, that's summon materia, right? No, okay. So red... You've got some space. Hey, I, I thought I did this thing for you already. No? Invigorating Vengeance. Restores HP when activating Vengeance mode. Yes. Let me just give you a steel materia. Yeah! Puppy! Look cute in steel. <laughs> he probably hates people calling him a dog. Let's stop. <laughs> hey, you have cars here! They look really funky, but you have cars here. Give us a damn car! No, we're all about the nature here. We gotta embrace nature and the chocobos and all that. What's this? I just wanna see. There's some buttons we can press. But not for the moment. Okay. Oh. Do you mind if I do? I'm supposed to go talk to Billy. Billy! What's your dad's name? Let me know. <laughs> ah, that was just the pot. Ah, that was just the, the hose. Billster! Howdy! Saw the sign. Need some chocobos to cross the swamp. I'm sorry, Pops, but you're out of luck. Pops? <laughs> Got no more birds. Last one went this morning. Could have fooled me, kid. These are spoken for. That or they're not fit for riding. But I can see you're in a bind, so I'll bump you up the list. For a price, of course. Which is? Ten grand each. <sighs> the thing is, we don't have that kind of money. You don't? Or any, really. Who the hell paid for the inn? Well, there is one other option. Only cost you a grant. Uh. Is what a scoundrel might say. But I wouldn't dream of distressing y'all further. Just so happens one of our birds ran off the other day. Wild thing, but still a fine chocobo. 
If you can manage to find and catch him, then he's yours, free of charge. You sure? Yeah, why not? Name's Pico, the hardest headed bird you'll ever meet, by far. And he's the spitting image of Pops here. <laughs> you can start by looking for his tracks. Find those, and you're sure to find the feet that made him. Now, wild chocobos can be a bit skittish around people. But if you play it cool and creep up real quiet-like, you'll wrangle them no problem. I think we can do that. Thanks. And one last thing. This info comes free of charge, provided you promise to stop by our shop. Speak to Chloe back there. She'll sell you whatever you need. <laughs> Kid's a born businessman. <laughs> if y'all can catch our runaway and get his butt back here, riding and rearing lessons are on me. Takes after his grandpa. Hello, little cutie. Hello. Need something? How can I find wild chocobos? Start by looking for fresh tracks. Once you spot them, birds are rarely more than a stone's throw away. How do I catch a wild chocobo? Birds in the wild are much more skittish than kept ones. Gonna have to be real quiet on the approach, else they'll bolt. You mean I can't go up to them with a giant sword? Tell me about riding gear. Gear serves all sorts of purposes, from the cosmetic to the practical. Can even improve a race bird's performance. Won't cost you a gill. Golden plumes only. Hmm. That's it for Good now. Good luck wrangling Pico! Uh, I'm sure it'll go well. I'm hoping. Hey! So, oh, I'm so sorry. Do you mind? Oh, she's looking at me. Timeless Rod. Wait, is that an air weapon? Like a staff? Oh, we have to do proficiency on everybody, don't we? Probably, right? Guard stick. Versus timeless rod. Oh yeah, okay, we... Activate effects of the ward one time only while ward is on the field. No, no, proficiency bonus is what we get for having proficiency. But how to get proficiency is just using the thing. Okay, so we, we need to expedite since we got a second thing for Aerith already. We have to switch our party. Edit party. Oh. Ah. Okay, okay. Ah. I was looking at the screen earlier. I must have accidentally switched parties then. I thought we were just looking at stuff here, but no, this is actually just a switching screen. Oh. Okay. In that case, I will... I'm just gonna straight up switch to Tifa and Aerith. We'll see how this goes. No! God! Please! Okay. We good? Yes. And then Aerith has gotta start using that staff. Sorry about my brother. All he thinks about is money. It's your brother! He's just doing his job. We understand. I suppose. But he's been a real pain about it ever since our parents left. <sighs> Say... Are you guys from Midgard? No. Yeah, the Undercity. No. Then do you happen to know Chocobo Sam? Yes. Um, not very well, but yeah, I guess we do. Where is he? Probably the Sector 6 slums. He's a big deal in Walt. Um, why do you ask? Good call. I was thinking about reaching out. It's his fault mom and dad are gone, so... What? Chloe, that's none of these good folks' business. But they could help! Don't tell anyone what she told you. Sam's one of the biggest names in the business. If he gets wind of that story, our ranch is done for. Don't worry, your secret's safe with us. I promise. Oh! Take these greens. You can give them to Pico when you find him. They were always his favorite treat, you see. Maybe he'll come back once he's had a taste. Right. Should probably sell you stuff, huh? Billy will throw a fit if I don't at least try to get you to spend a few gil. No pressure, but if anything catches your eye. Also, if you have any golden plumes on you, I can exchange them for chocobo gear. So be sure to hand them over if you do. A rancher's tax shop will have chocobo gear for sale, which can only be traded for golden plumes. These rare feathers can be obtained by wrangling new chocobos or repairing chocobo stops. We can repair them. Okay. 
cool materials. Okay, cool. Thanks. Nothing for now. Ah. Shinra avian helmet. No, no, we're good. Thank you. I hope Pico doesn't give you all too much trouble. I I hope so too. Hi, how can I help you today? Do you have dialogue? No. You're welcome back here anytime. Okay, thank you. What do you guys got going on up here? Oh. Moogle metal. Can we just jump down? Yes, we can! Oh, I'm, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. 